expecting fantastic weather. Let's head back out now live to Bobcat Stadium and meteorologist Adam Bell. Adam? Well, the weather is beautiful, Judy. You can see it shining in my face here. It's actually a great day and a great evening for all the celebrations that are going on. Let's take a look at our satellite and radar composite and see what's going on right now. Pretty quiet conditions overall. Not really much to complain about. A few clouds in southern Montana. But if you are planning on coming out for the celebration tonight, mid-60s is the temperature you can expect. Bring those sunglasses. It's going to be bright. You may want to bring the jacket. By the evening hours, it'll be pretty chilly. But that game day forecast for tomorrow, the wind may still be around, a little bit breezy. How about a 75-degree temperature as we hear the Bobcat fight song? It's going to be a great day tomorrow and evening tonight weather-wise. But will it continue? We'll have to stick around for that. Plus, you know, I see President Cruzado just behind the camera here. I'm going to have a live interview with her coming up in just a few minutes. All right, well, still to come. Meet Your accurate forecast from Adam Bell starts now with Storm Tracker Weather on Montana's news station. Welcome back. Live here on a beautiful day outside the Bobcat Stadium, getting ready for the celebrations just a little over an hour away. I am actually joined by a very special guest, President of the University, Dr. Wadi Cruzado. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for being here. We are very excited with this beautiful day. You know, it is, and that's what I talked to Drew Ingraham earlier, part of the athletics department. He said that the word that he would describe the atmosphere here is very excited, excitement. And what, what are you sensing around the university right now? Well, it's, what can I say, electrifying. Students are, have been stopping me and saying, we can't wait. Where can we get tickets? Uh, faculty members, staff, alums have been calling the office. So it promises that it's going to be a wonderful celebration tonight and then a great game tomorrow. Now for the celebration tonight, I know there are quite a few surprises, but the only way you're going to find that out is to come. And what time do they have to be here tonight? Please join us at 7 p.m. tonight. Uh, we're going to have a wonderful show, many surprises for the community members. So we're going to be waiting for all of you. And for you, last question, what do you think the biggest shock for everyone that comes to the game tomorrow or tonight to the stadium, they're gonna, what do you think the biggest shock for them is gonna be? I think when you see the size of this end zone, when you see all the students that are going to be filling that uh, zone, all the parents, the families, the alums, you're gonna be overjoyed by the wonderful atmosphere that we have here at your Bobcat Stadium. Well, Dr. Fasada, thank you so much for joining us, and it is going to be a beautiful evening this as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at our eye cam and see how the weather is going right now. And as I'm we look Bobcat. at it, go, go, go Bobcat, that's right, exactly. We're looking at still warm conditions sticking around, and in the end of my weather headlines, we're looking at some pretty nice conditions. There's a live shot at MSU. We're actually right below the top of that roof. You can't see us, but we are here, believe you and me. Let's go back to our weather graphics and see what's going on. We've got satellite and radar composite showing pretty quiet conditions. And the temperatures right now, how about some mid-80s out there? We're looking at nice warm weather sticking around. How about some 80s across most of the state of Montana? And that's going to be the trend not only for today, but for the next several days as well. So we're looking at some very mild conditions. Current conditions right now over in Bozeman or in the mid-80s. What can you complain about? We're looking at a little some breeze here at Gallup, or not Gallup, Field. we're over at the Bobcat Stadium. North wind at six miles per hour. It is swirling, believe it or not, in the bowl of the new stadium. Nice light north wind at the airport at six miles per hour. Dew point down to the 30s. That could be the temperature as we drop into the evening hours tonight down to the lower 40s. So another chilly evening on its way. Over in Butte, for our Butte viewers, scattered clouds out there, 80 degrees. A little bit breezier out of the southeast at 12 miles per hour. Here's that forecast. High pressure sliding on in. It's going to stick around not only for the short term, but for the long term. It's going to be camping around for us for about a week or more as we have plenty of sunshine in that forecast. The high pressure, one minor problem with it is it's going to have create what we call an inversion where the air doesn't mix up as much and that smoke that's being put up by the fires is going to be stuck around over the next couple of days. Now as we look at the forecast for tonight, 40s for the most part for across Montana, pretty comfortable. Tomorrow mostly sunny, 70s and 80s for those forecast highs. A little closer to home for the mining city. How about some 20s? 30s, 40s, and even some 50s for those overnight lows. Missoula and Helena in the 50s tonight. Townsend 47. Gallatin, Bozeman, Gallatin Valley tonight. How about some 40s for the overnight lows? Up into the 70s tomorrow afternoon. So we're looking at some quiet conditions tonight and tomorrow, both in Bozeman and in Butte. But it will be a beautiful day for some football tomorrow afternoon. Seven day forecast time starting first with the Bozeman area. We're looking pretty comfortable. Beautiful next several days. Still some haze possible with that smoke but not bad at all. We're still going to see a little bit of a cool down toward the end of my seven day forecast. Mid 70s as we get toward the end, 20% chance for some showers, but all in all a pretty dry seven day forecast. Finally Butte, also similar setup, not quite as warm as Bozeman, but all in all really no complaints 
across the area. Back here live, you can see it is a beautiful night to enjoy here at Bobcat Stadium or even the Friday Night Lights. We got lots of football. Don't we have lots of football? We're going to talk all about all of that pretty soon. We got lots of uh, events going on tonight, don't we, Ted? That's right. This is Ted Dawson, and you can see the UC Davis players. They're on the field coming back. We'll show you how they're getting ready for the Bobcats, but the Bobcats are getting ready for them. Back here live at Bobcat Stadium, one last look at that seven-day forecast. It's going to be a beautiful one, mostly sunny skies for the Bozeman area. We are going to see temperatures drop just a little bit, but all in all, really no complaints overall. 80s down to 70s, but plenty of that sunshine dominated by high pressure. And we're still going to stick around here, Judy. We have a lot more going on. We're going to see plenty of beautiful evening. we got the ceremonies coming on. I'm going to stick around. We're going to have more for you tonight at 10 o'clock. And a great night for football. Absolutely. All right, great. Thanks, guys, and thank you for watching. We hope you'll join us right back here at 10 o'clock. Good night.